guys and welcome back to Wagray Para E-Learning Hub, the place to learn and discover the world. Today, we'll be learning about Australasia. Let's get on to the video without any further ado. 10 interesting facts about Australasia that you should know. Number 1. Finding Australasia in our world map. Out of the seven continents, Australasia is the smallest. And it contains of Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and thousands of small islands. And Australasia is made up of one very large island called Australia. So you know how I told about other thousands of small islands? Well, they're divided into three main groups. And Australia, I mean Australasia, contains Australia and New Zealand. And you know the one that I just said? That the thousands of small islands are divided into three main groups which are Polynesia, Micronesia, and Melanesia. So let's first look at what is in Polynesia. There is Sama, Tonga, and Tulu. In Melanesia, there are Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Solomon Islands, and Vanuatu. Sorry about that, I can't say that properly. In Micronesia, you will find Federated States of Micronesia, Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Palulu, and Nauru. Sorry about that, I can't say some island names properly. Number two, countries in Australasia. Australia and New Zealand are the two countries in Australasia. So look at these both beautiful countries in the world map over here. So, Australia is divided into seven states. At the left, you will find the Western Australia. And in the middle, you will find Northern Territory and South Australia. And at the right, you will find Queensland on top, New South Wales at the middle. And you will find Victoria and Tasmania at the bottom. Now, let's look at New Zealand, where I live. So, the island has been divided into two islands, which is North Island and South Island, which you can see here. So, I live in the North Island, and I get to see Sky Tower, and which is in Auckland. And, I'll be talking about the Sky Tower in my upcoming slide. Number 3, Ring of Fire. So, there are 452 volcanoes at the edge of the Pacific Ocean and it's called Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire is a string of 452 volcanoes around the edge of the Pacific Ocean and which forms a raw horseshoe shape. Number 4 Natural Landmark The Uluru which is also called as the sandstone and it is at the middle of Australia. Next, the wave rock which is also in Australia and it looks like waves. Wow, I really want to go there. Now let's look at the blue mountain which is in Australia too. But it isn't blue. The name of the mountain is just blue mountain. Number 5, man-made landmarks. Q1 Tower. Sky Tower, which is in New Zealand, and I get to see it sometimes. Monumental House, which is in Papua New Guinea. Opera House, which is in Sydney, Australia. Number 6. The Climate. Whether there it's nice and cool. The bright sunshine, cool breeze, and Australia enjoys a nice cool breeze and bright sunshine. There's dry desert rainforest and it also you know something sometimes when it's too hot or very dry the trees get to catch on fire oh my gosh so over here i gave up but 
a climate chart and it's going to take a long time for me to read all of these to you so think like this is your activity and figure out what color goes to what Now let's look at the culture. Can you guess what these are? Wow, well, they are boomerangs from Australia. So guys, these people are the native people for Australia. And they came about 40,000 years ago from the part of a country. And they're also called the Aboriginal people. So this is the art from New Zealand. And Maori people did this, I'm pretty sure. So, the Maori people are the native people for New Zealand. And I will also show a picture of them. So these are the native people for New Zealand. And they're also called as the Maori people and I think they're doing this traditional dance called Haka. Now let's look at sports and Australasia is very good at different kind of sports. Australia and New Zealand are very good at different kind of sports, especially rugby, cricket, football and many other sports. Now Number nine, let me tell you a history of Australia, a very, very brief history. So, Captain James Cook arrived on the island called Australia and he thought that nobody occupied this place and he announced that this island belongs to the British territory. But then, when the Aboriginal, the native people heard about this, they put a case like this is our country. And when they won it, they got the independence from the British Empire. Number 10, flag! Look how beautiful these flags are. So, did you notice something? Australia and New Zealand flags are sort of similar. But the only difference is that Australia flag has six stars and New Zealand flag has four stars. So I hope you learned something from this Australasia video. Thank you for watching Why Great Parent E-Learning Hub, the place to learn and discover the world. If you like this video, please like, comment and share it with your friends and family. Hope you learned something from this video and see you in my next video. Bye!